was suited up, getting ready to go, Nathan's, Nathan's racing, so I'm going to take the drone, the drone's updating its firmware and stuff, and I'm going to fly that and while, while the races are on. It's allowed, it's fine, people don't panic, I'm not doing something illegal. Um, but yeah, it's going to be good, get some mad footage. I'm going to go up the old highway again, the same ride we did yesterday, and then head over to uh, where the race starts. So, Uralda, I think it's called. Uralda. So, should be a good, should be a good ride. Focus, and um, yeah, I'm keen. And then we're going to meet up with Steve. Steve's coming. He actually just had to throw out his like, uh, what's it called? His multi-tool and pedal spanner at the airport because he had no checked-in luggage. <laughs> oh, rookie. And uh, Pat's doing 150 k's today. Who's a big dog? It's his last day here as well. So. Good plans. Boys, we're almost ready. Just uh, parked up, waiting for someone to meet us. Nathan's meeting. And uh, I don't know who he is. There's a couple of cyclists around and everything, so it's pretty good. Uh, we're gonna go up the old motorway again. It's such a good climb, but it just gets us to where we're supposed to be going. Uh, yeah. I'm just watching Nathan's race. He's he's in C grade. He could be in B grade, but it is hectic here. I mean, C grade here is like it's hectic. So there is a breakaway, and um, it's a pretty hilly course. I mean, you can see they come from over there. They go down there, follow it around, and come back here, and then do another loop. But he should be coming past shortly. He was he was just in the bunch. There's a breakaway of like three. So hopefully he, the breakaway fails and he uh, gets back, so. girl to have finished smashy uh, she came sixth in the road nuts last weekend she's just an absolute legend and she just won b grade uh, in this race women's women's race. well she yeah b <laughs> the woman in b grade that won but just yeah chilling on the hill we got the primo location here yeah to heckle all the a graders they don't love it but we're giving it to them <laughs> yeah man just cruising but yeah brody is insane she hasn't even got a pro contract and they're just like and there's other girls out there that just blow up all the time. And Brody's just chilling, just cruising. I don't know about chilling. It's hard, I almost threw up. <laughs> After riding that? <laughs> Both times, just then was worse. How was good? Like, In the box? Breakfast was too expensive to throw up. No, so. you can't throw up an expensive. <laughs> what was it, pancakes? No, it was a smoothie bowl. Oh, yeah. Vitality, man. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, we're going to go down to the podium later. Hopefully Nathan picks up, I don't know. I yeah. think he's, I mean, that's up. That's an uphill finish for him. So it's, a bit punchy. It, it's Nathan. Yeah, well, he's, he's still in there. He's, he's still in the in group. There's no break, so. He's in a good position. People have just been dropped. Yes, it's very splintered out there today. So, I don't know how many, I don't know how many laps are left. How, uh, yeah. I don't know, either. Could be any minute now. <sighs> is that A grade over there? Looks like it is. Yeah. It's a very nice course, that's for sure. Yeah. If, is it windy? Even if you get popped, you can just be like, look at the views. Yeah. 
Um, you didn't get popped. I didn't get popped, but I've done that in other races where I'm like, well, <laughs> at least like. <laughs> at least I can view. enjoy the view. <laughs> yeah. At least it's scenic. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Is it windy out there? Uh, yes, yeah, so across the back straight, there's like a little pinch around the corner and then a windy section and it's like a crosswind so it's not really in the gutter because you can't go across the other side of the road so it's just on the middle of the line which is kind of hard and um, that was, I found that the hardest section because all the powerhouse men would just be like, Brr. yeah. but luckily everyone kind of like chills a bit on the descent, yeah. um, which is super fun. Like, yeah, we just climbed up that one. Oh. Some of the some great corners. I wouldn't want to go up that. I mean, like if if that if, the, if it went the other way. Yeah, it would have been a different race if it was the other way because it's a bit of a longer climb the other way. It's yeah. Quite, quite punchy, pinchy and punchy. Yeah. I would say. Sometimes I sort of wish I did this race, but well, looking at C grade, I'm like maybe I would have done B grade for sure. Nah, just sandbagging yeah, B grade. Just, just, well, like, I think I've told you this, but I'll tell the camera. My philosophy for training is just get dropped until you don't, and then one day you just stop getting dropped, and you're like, oh, sweet. But initially, you have to cop that. You'll get dagged <laughs> a lot until you claw your way back to that wheel. Good training philosophy. Yeah, right yep. Just go on, go on the hard bunchies. Go on smashy. Go on smashy. Yeah, smashy is where, this is where Legends of Marathon <laughs> started. Smashy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Getting totally piped until, <laughs> until I could roll some turns one day. Two hours later. Uh, Steve's here. He's uh, sidled over from where he's staying. He's navigated the city somewhat incorrectly, but I don't know if that was. Uh, I've gone as far as the South Australia, Western Australia border before I realised I was going the wrong way. Sorry, we didn't get that. Now. <laughs> right around Adelaide. It's easy to find places, they said. It is. It's not. Oh, that's because you're not very good at finding places. Just because you don't know all the road names here. <laughs> it upsets me that I don't know all the road names. <laughs> Do you feel better now, man? Yeah. I'm up Norton. I no SD card in my GoPro. So, RIP to that. But, yeah, the boys are just cranking the pace. It's ridiculous. We made it to the top. I won. Just gonna put that out there. Saving, I was sitting on the back, saving my energy for the last 50 meters. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're gonna go for some gravel road. Because I don't have my GoPro working, we can't experience it together. At a corkscrew road. Steve and uh, Nathan have gone down corkscrew. I honestly feel so, I feel sick, so I'm uh, just standing at the top and waiting for them, so. Yep, that was steep. Oh. They've just started. We're, we're just shocked because they just started. But uh, we saw Peter Sagan, and that was exciting. And um, I didn't freak out like I did last, I didn't freak out like I did last year, but carry on. There's a five-man breakaway. Uh, they've got a pretty decent lead. It's like a minute on them, but uh, we don't reckon the last peloton's flying, as you can see. But yeah, we've got a pretty good spot here. And, uh, finish line is over in that direction. They, they go around that corner that way, but we're not concerned about going that way. So yeah, man, stress. Sagan has just won. He just won the crit. There was a crash just before the line. We didn't see it or anything, but uh, yeah. Hey. Sagan just waved at me. Oh, I can't contain myself. 